Hello my beautiful Virgo and welcome to Truth Train Tarot. I am so excited to get with you and start your reading today. Let's see what your energies are that we can talk about and find out what's the guidance, what is it that you need to see at this time. We'll get your energy in the deck. Here we go, here we go Virgo, what do you got, what do you got? All right, here we go. Ooh, five of swords. Virgo, are you going through something where you're like, <laughs> there's a fight, there's a conflict going on. Whether that's coming up or something going through, you're going to face a conflict. Now the question is, is it external or is it interior? Is it something internal? Hmm the tower. Okay, Virgo, let's get ready to understand how we are to navigate this energy together. So this is like heads up, but we will get you the advice that you seek. And you might be experiencing this already. A lot of energies right now in the universe are tugging at different people different ways. All right, my lovelies, let's go ahead, cut the deck, and see what we have for you. Maple Spirit, Generosity. Frog Spirit, Renewal. So this is an internal struggle within you where it's like everything changes all at once. And I'm seeing that with someone else too in the fire sign. Fire sign is what I feel. So this frog spirit, it's talking about releasing something and that's, that's gonna be very difficult because I feel you're very attached, but you're seeing something change right before your eyes and you're like, what is going on? And it's talking about releasing the old way of doing something. Truth train coming through. Can't even make it up. <laughs> All right, my lovelies. Get wild. So there is a little bit about this exploration of energy here. It's talking about really releasing the need to have control of everything. This is a surrendering moment. There is some major generosity from the universe coming through from your ancestors. This is your family tree. And I, I, I mean, it's there. And the renewal is around the corner. It's just not right in front of you at this moment, but this is a faded event, and you can see that beautiful egg being cushioned by that, what appears to be a velvety pillow. That's a new beginning and a generous beginning with that maple spirit, right? So this is all about a new experience for you, and that may have come as a shock. You may not be expecting this type of a quick renewal and it might be a struggle in acclimating to the new timeline because it's indeed like being thrust forward into a new timeline but it's destiny here you go Virgo four of wands your 1111 card can't make it up you got fate and now you've got this beautiful marriage card. Now, it doesn't have to be married to another person. It could be your higher path card as well. It's a mirroring of the universe. 1111 is all about that mirroring, putting towards the universe and showing the universe the actions, the feelings, the thoughts of your essence in a sense of what you desire rather than sulking in something negative or allowing something to get into your brain. You're controlling what's going to be mirrored back at you. 
Virgo, I love you, but this is a very hard time. I get it. The tower, it's like, what am I going to do? I do not have an answer. And there's this echo, 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 echo repeating in your head that could push you into a very dark, deep solitude. But I, I feel that if you really, really let go of that and be like, wait a minute, I don't think I have control of this. I think the universe has control of this. And that's what we're releasing is the need to <clears throat> go this direction. When the universe is saying, hold on, hold on. What you don't see is the bridges out that way. And so three of pentacles, you need to get a different game plan. That's all. It's not the end of the journey. It's a new direction. So you're recalibrating, you know, kind of like Siri does when you're like made the wrong turn and you hear recalibrating, recalibrating because it's a new direction. There's been a change in the energy that you were going in. Maybe you intertwined with that energy in that area that wasn't the best for you. Whatever it is, I can feel it leaving. It's it's just dissipating. That has you concerned because you're like, wait a minute. I just got used to feeling that energy. So how is it dissipating? Because if you continue to stay, it will be complete heartbreak three of swords it's a little bit of a tougher read it is but i mean we have to deal with all energies and not all energies are going to come up and be like yay you hit the abundant jackpot for the day but everything's temporary and that's what this is three of swords is temporary it feels horrible, kind of like when you step on a piece of glass and you get it stuck in your foot. It hurts like hell until you remove it. And this is almost saying that the entire glass shattered. You're going to have to sweep the floor and completely mop it and start fresh the tower. Yeah, but in doing that, you're going to find something that was really, really important when you clean house. This could be metaphoric. It could be real. It is taking a breather to change up the energy, whether you have been procrastinating on cleaning the shed or doing the dishes or anything mundane. It's going to help you to achieve justice because it's you transmuting this three of swords energy this betrayal like i worked so hard and i did everything right and then the new person got the promotion and you're like i don't even know why i try is what i'm feeling virgo but at the same time you weren't meant for that position there's a much better position maybe even in a different place but to get there we've got to move the energy got the tower twice this is a big deal and you already know it you already feel it if you are not feeling this tower this is it your read don't take on energies that don't belong to you Virgo the energy I'm connecting to is having a major crisis confound another event so something went completely this way and then it went that way and you're like what is going on? And I'm here to tell you, there is some newness. Pages are new. This is a messenger. This is also about words. It's also about learning. And you have that on your Four of Wands. And the universe is telling you with that Page of Swords mixed with the Page of Wands, this is time to learn something new. And in doing that, it's a pain in the butt. Remember when... Maybe you, um, for those of you that have your license, maybe before you got your driver's license, that was unachievable in your head. It seemed like a wild thing to think about where you'd have your own license and go drive yourself around. But 
You had to learn something to have that freedom, right? And now, after you've had your license, maybe you've had it for a while, you're like, I can't imagine if I wouldn't have taken that plunge. But what if you'd have been studying for your license and there's a boo-boo that happens, a hiccup? Are you going to allow that to keep you from that beautiful freedom? Or are you going to study harder, right? Wheel of Fortune. This is not letting past negative energies where something didn't wash, didn't feel right, hold you back. And it's falling on this night, Nine of Swords. This agitation and worry. What if? I could have. Maybe I can. Kind of energy. I'm telling you now, this is going down and you can't save it. Whatever it is that you're releasing, you personally, Virgo, cannot save it because it's not your energy that lost it. So don't take ownership of it. Allow it to fade away from you. You got that Three of Pentacles, which is all about making a plan, thinking about it. Okay, I can't wear those shoes anymore on Sunday. Do I have anything else for next week, Sunday? Maybe I should go to Goodwill and see if they have my size and something else. New shoes, because the heel broke off those. You feel me? It's this opportunity right here, another messenger. So there's a lot of conversation from the universe with your energy. Whether you're paying attention or not at the synchronicities, they're being shared with you. This little page of wand is kind of answering this page of wand. So this could be a conversation, in a sense, with the past, whether it's an energy physically in the material world, or it's an energy of you having a fear from the past. Oh, I remember last time we ran out of bed, bread, I couldn't make grilled cheeses. I'm giving you simple analogies for really serious problems. It's like running out of toilet paper, really, but let's not go there. There's a feeling of urgency, and I need to grab this and control it and make it work. That's going to betray you. You got, now remember, I always use in the tarot over here, two identical decks. I mix the energies. And that way, I can get repeating cards. The, rep the repetition of the cards, or the duplication, <clears throat> forgive me, of the energy, shows me when it's really strong or when it's reappearing, reconnecting. I got the Page of Wands here and here. So you have two Page of Wands right here. That's double the author. It's a repetitive author. Author? author? Maybe it's time for you to write that book. Maybe it's time for you to share your story. Maybe you're going to make a video. Whatever this is, it's an action that you need to, three of pentacles, make that plan. And then double up on the action that you originally thought it would take to make it work. Double down on the good stuff. Ten of Pentacles. Look where it takes you. Absolutely fulfillment. You go from the Three of Swords to the Ten of Pentacles. Virgo. Ten of Pentacles is where you're trying to get. So the Three of Swords is telling me this could be a financial hit. This really could. And that you've been thinking that you were climbing up the mountain to the top and that you were going to succeed. This is saying you're going to get to the top of the mountain. I promise you, you still are Virgo. You still have your intuition, but there's a new way, a renewal of how you're going to get there. Don't attach to the exact path that's set by the GPS. Because if it tells you to turn left and you're on a bridge, you can't. So this is always saying, okay, I'm being guided to take the bridge. But when you hear that 
take a left and you can't, don't panic. Simply readjust and recalibrate. You have justice to the wish come true. This is the justice is a major arcana saying things are about to balance out into your favor. That nine of cups is saying that you need to spread your energy out a little bit into allowing some freedom to come in. Don't be rigid. Don't feel it has to be this way. It doesn't need to be perfect. It's new. You can hear my boys playing. They're Jack Russell's brothers. They're about a year old. When you have this energy of this tower repetitively bookending your reading, this isn't trivial. This is like the second, it's not the first, but this is by far one of the second most changes you're having. I'm just telling you, something is giving way for something new. And I feel you're very attached to the old energy. And that's what's got you in that I'm going to fight for this tower moment. Is it something you're going to win if you fight for? Oh yeah, you're going to win it. But you might have to fight in a different direction. There it is, two of wands. Choosing an alternate way. Look, look, look. Both of these mount uh, paths, where are we? Here we go. Lead up to the mountain. It's just a different way to do it. So it has, it's not like all hope is lost, but you can't mentally push your way through this. You've got to emotionally feel your way through this, Virgo. You're very good at feeling your way around in the dark during the dark night of the soul. Hone in, find your inner balance, and keep going. This is that decision, choice between two. Which way do you go? Do you keep going the way you are? Ignore all the caution signs. Dogs are barking. It means something. Where the road is out. Or, <laughs> let me mute it. I have somebody at my house, I think. All right, we're going to have to deal with it, y'all. So let's get down here. You've got the Three of Swords over this financial. If it's not financial, it's something structural in your home. Listen to that. And you're not only feeling that betrayal, but you're very defensive about something. Could be finances. You've got the resources, so don't worry. You're going to be taken care of. You always have. You've made it this far right now where you are. So just breathe easy. Trust that you can do this. You've got the Wheel of Fortune twice. Where is that? Right up there by the lovers. So you go from the Nine of Swords, can't get out of your head, to the Wheel of Fortune, don't let your past hold you back, to making a choice, which is the lovers. Down here, you've got the justice, where things are balancing out with the wish fulfillment, Nine of Cups, and the Wheel of Fortune turning, finally, in your favor. So, this is you taking a moment to release the negative energies, transmute them, whether you got to paint, draw, sing, Play in the grass, hug a tree, hug a friend, whatever you need to do to transmute that energy and allow an old way of thinking to be replaced with something new. That's this death card, the tower, a new way to think and look at you. And soon as you do, you absolutely back to this beautiful nine of pentacles, steady Eddie always able to rely on you. 
It's saying, Virgo, let the universe have a minute to sort this out for you. Look, <laughs> you got that six of swords. This is great advice. Move, move your energy to transmute this horrific Ten of Swords energy that's dead done over. You got to move it, move it, move it. You got to move it, move it, move it. But are you moving the energy by moving your house around? Are you moving physically? Are you just taking a trip? Are you going for a walk? Don't be apathetic over it. Don't wallow. <laughs> I'm calling you out, Virgo, because I love you. Don't allow yourself to get locked in on trying to understand the why. This energy, the battery ran out. You don't look at your phone when you're like, oh, I was really into that movie and the battery died. Why? And then you stay there. You're like, oh, I'm going to plug it in and switch my energy to something different. And that's what you're doing. There you are, my lovely inspiration, Knight of Wands. Now, this is fleeting also. Be careful. There's a Don Juan. You know what I mean? Right around the corner waiting for you because you are feeling a little bit lower, a little pressed down. And I feel like there could be somebody here that might... Take advantage of that lowness. So this is a time to focus on you. Ace of Wands. There is passion coming on your own. This is inspiration, delight. Um, <clears throat> it just feels so much better. And it is creative. Ace of Wands is about creativity. It is about a renewal. Can't make it up. A renewal. But this is no light energy. You definitely have to make a decision to move forward. This is literally you having to look at something and go, okay. So even though it says if we go this direction, it is 15 minute trip. And the GPS is telling me not to go that way, that the bridge is out. So I got to go the long way around, which is two hours. All right, I can be mad around the two hour detour the whole way and make it miserable. Or maybe there's something special that the universe is taking you the long way around for. You just never know, Virgo. Don't give up hope. Just keep doing your thing. Make your decisions wisely. You, you have inner knowledge. You have inner guidance to know. This is all going to work out in your favor. Indeed. Very much so. You do have the Justice card, the Nine of Cups, as well as the Will of Fortune. Thank you so incredibly much for sharing this time with me. I've greatly appreciated it. I feel honored and privileged to be able to do your read. And with that, my beautiful, share your love back. Give me a thumbs up or a like or, or a like either way, as well as subscribe if you want to know when I upload again. And until I read for you again, go ahead and check out this reading.